This lesson is on neonatal intravenous fluid management. In this lesson, I will discuss on introduction the physiology of body fluid distribution units, amount of fluid per day, type of fluid to be given, and the special situations. Careful fluid and electrolyte management is essential for the well-being of the sick neonate. Inadequate administration of fluids can result in hypovolemia, hyperosmolarity, metabolic abnormalities, and renal failure. Whereas excess fluid administration, mainly in the low birth weight infant, is associated with persistence of ductus acidosis and heart failure, intraventricular hemolytic, necrotizing enterocolites, and the risk of bronchopulmonary dysplasia persistence. The preterm fetus or neonate is in a state of relative total body water and extracellular fluid excess. So in utero, there is higher amount of fluid extracellular, whereas after birth, there is higher amount of fluid intracellular. So after birth, this excess extracellular fluid must be mobilized and excreted. So after birth, there is a shift of fluid from extracellular predominance to intracellular predominance. The, the surface area of newborn is relatively large and increase with decreasing size. Therefore, insensible water loses will be greatest with small size and decreased gestational age. And preterm infants are able to concentrate urine up to 600 ml per liter and the term infants to 700 ml per liter. Therefore, both preterm and the term units generally have the capacity to regulate their intravascular volume within a range of fluid intake, but this is not that of adult. Adult can concentrate up to 1,300 ml per liter. So, based on the above principles, one should expect a 10 to 50 percent weight loss over the first five to seven days of life. This is due to loss of huge amount of extracellular fluid by urine and that is why after birth there is intracellular fluid dominance compared to extracellular fluid dominance in utero. Weight loss is mainly due to higher loss of fluid from extracellular space and also during the first few days of life there is decreased nutrition intake. The small or extremely immature infant will experience increased insensible water loses. As the preterm and the term infant is able to regulate urine output in response to hypovolemia, urine output will reflect intravascular volume. So we can regulate or monitor intravascular volume based on urine output. The infant will generally not maintain inappropriately high urine output in the face of intravascular volume depression. We expect urine output of at least 0.5 to 1 ml per kg per minute. Start maintenance fruit for any babies less than 1.5 kg or those less than two weeks of gestation at birth. And also for above this, for those more than 1.5 kg or more than two weeks at birth, start intravenous fruit if there is stereophyte asphyxia, shock, hypoglycemia, or in acute breastfeed with contraindication of NG2 feeding. So, as a recommendation, initiate fluid therapy on day one at 60 ml per kg per day for term babies and 80 ml per kg per day for preterm babies with 10% EW. Infants less than 1.5 kg should be covered with a blanket and strict input output should be followed. Infants less than 1 kg should have electrolyte and the weight recorded every 6 to 8 hours and every 12 hours for infants between 1 to 1.5 kg. Total parental nutrition is usually recommended if the unit is not likely to be fed for longer than 3 days. It is estimated that the non-growing neonate requires 60 to 75 kilocalorie per kg per day and that fluid loads are closely related to caloric expenditure. In the first day after birth, Fluid requirements are likely to be in the range of 60 to 80 ml per kg per day in a neutral thermal environment. Gradual increases the volume by 20 ml per kg per day daily till 
140 ml per kg per day. To accomplish this, use 10% dextrose in water at 24 hours. The fluid should be changed to 14 ZNS and uh, 34 D10. And the addition of KCL to the infusion should be considered by the 3 if there are no contraindications. So for this 24 hours, we give only 10% dextrose. And after 24 hours, we give this amount of fluid, 1 fourth normal saline and 3 fourths 10% dextrose. So this is the daily fluid requirement in ml per kg based on the age of the child and also based on the birth weight. For between 1 to 1.5 kg on the first day, 80 to 100 ml per kg and increase by 20 ml per kg per day. And for more than 1.5 kg, 60 to 80 ml per kg per day and increase by 20 ml per kg per day daily. And on the first day, we will give only 10% dextrose. And on the second day, we make one third or one fourth normal saline and 3 fourths 10% dextrose to add sodium. Increase fluids for urine output less than 0.5 ml per kg per hour by 10 ml per kg, or for infants less than 26 weeks, calculate insensible water loss and change fluid accordingly. Neonates undergo diuresis within the first 24 hours after birth, and therefore electrolyte additives are not required within the first 24 hours of life unless clinically indicated. Add KCL 2 to 3 mL equivalent per kg per day to IV fluids after urine output is well established and potassium is less than 5 mL equivalent per liter. This is usually within 2 to 3 days of life. And we change 10% dextrose fluid on the first day to 3 fourths 10% and 1 third or 1 fourths uh, NS to add sodium to the fluid. This is the neonatal fluid requirement guideline. On first day, start with 70 to 80 ml per kg per day with 10% dextrose alone, no electrolyte added. And after the second day, the fluid is 3 fourths D10 and 1 fourths NS. And Follow urine output and at least make sure that is 1 ml per kg per hour up to uh, 3 ml per kg per hour. Increase fluids to 100 to 120 ml per kg per day. That means increase daily 20 ml per kg per day. Add electrolytes after the second day. Sodium 2 to 3 ml equivalent per kg per day. That means by making the fluid. D10 with NS and adding potassium 1 to 2 mL equivalent per kg per day and the calcium 1 mL equivalent per kg per day after the second day of life. When we see special cases, the first is post operative abdominal surgery. In those cases, fluid requirement might be twice or three times that noted above. This infants may require 120 to 150 ml per kg per day immediately post operative with subsequent increase as determined by blood pressure measurement and the urine output. Isotonic silence may also be required because of self spacing of fluid into tissue and other spaces. We should have to always strict input and output measurement. We should have to follow strict input and output. If there is gastric drainage, we should have to replace them every 8 to 12 hours depending on the volume. That means if it is significant or if it is more than 10 ml per kg per day, gastric drainage, we should have to replace this ml by ml, ml to ml by ring reacted every 8 to 12 hours. The other special situation is in asphyxiated infants. Infants with perinatal asphyxia may have increased secretion of arginine vasopressin and they are thought to be at increased risk for cerebral edema. So their fluid intake should be kept on the low side for the first three days of life, around 60 ml per kg per day or until seizures are no longer considered a problem. 
at least two servers of maintenance fluid. This infant is required close monitoring of serum sodium and the weight. Treatment of SIDH is by restriction of fluid, not increased sodium intake. Lazarus infants of diabetic mothers. Those infants receive IV glucose because of increased danger of hypoglycemia. However, they frequently do not receive sodium and have been found to develop rather substantial hyponatremia at 24 hours if it is not added at or before this time. This danger is greater the greater rate of glucose needed to maintain blood glucose. Addition of sodium should be considered at 60 to 80 hours of life for infants of diabetic mother. That means we should have to change the fluid from 10% DW alone to 1 for the next and 3 for D10 at 60 to 80 hours of life in infants with diabetic mothers, unlike that of others, which we do around uh, after 24 hours of life. This is all about maintenance fluid in units. Thank you for watching.